It's the company rule, sir. You have to go. I'm sorry. Get ready for another remix by Verbal Ace. Today we have Patrick Star.
mercenary. He smells like sports. <laughs> he's got his brain. He's got no game. But to me, he's not that scary. Here we go. B I N K Y. Who's gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm always sleepy, but that's cause no one feeds me And Deadpool is no different because beating him is Look easy Look at you, he's purple like a llama Those black and red pajamas A better human finger but I don't have hands Just ugly llama B-I-N-K Merry Christmas! That's the night is pink day Uh-huh Pink day, pink day, pink day I said B-I-N-K-Y Who's gonna bring them back to the night is pink day? That's me, but I know I'm scary because I scare that guy in the mirror every day. In this corner, we have the Playstyle Origin! Cartoon Peepbox Battles is a series made by Verbalize. This cartoon is about the previously mentioned beatboxers from outer space, hosting matches between various characters from all sorts of media, all competing for being the best beatboxer in the ring. One of these is Patrick, the titular star hailing from Bikini Bottom. His portrayal in the series is mostly the same in the original Spongebob series, albeit him napping more often. Though the important part is that aside from Goofy, he usually goes against the most intimidating foes like the Merc at the Mouth or the Mad Titan. Less spoilers for the end, by the way. He managed to win all those rounds against them despite their massive threat level and Patrick's lack of intelligence. So his playstyle is based on bait and punish mix up tactics, making him very challenging to approach due to the many types of things he performs. This is even part of the reason why he has so much recovery options. So that he can have more unpredictable when it comes to recovering, and to be a pest that wants to stay in the stage for as long as possible. He may be stupid, and also dumb, but at heart, he's a professional, and Mr. Dr. Professor Patrick is going to shove you off the blast zone. Thus, the secret character is revealed and completed. Finally. Bet you didn't expect this guy, huh? Because if Thanos got one, and Verbal is soon getting one, Rick Myers will have the same treatment. I've been wanting to make this guy for a while now, and he plays a big part in the Save the Server story mode as well. Which is still coming soon, alright? Just, I haven't made any progress on it though, but once I get all the moves that's out, I might actually start working on it by making enemy sprites and such, so be quiet, okay? Be quiet. Shush. I love you. And I am finally glad to get this guy out. Also, I really hope you enjoyed this set as well, as I really want to do a character that's more out there this time around, which, hey, this is what a secret character is for. Remember, you cast got one in Aureus. Anyways, change the world. Final message. Goodbye. Oh, wait, I forgot my keys. Hold on. Take my message to heart, though, all right? You know, you gotta change the world. That's the educational message, all right? What's what you're supposed to take from it, all right? Just...